today I want to look into Brian Albert. I've been avoiding it because he's like, he looks like he probably, he looks intimidating. I saw him on, well, if you watch the trial, then you probably saw him too in the courtroom just staring at the jury. I don't know if he could have been more obvious that he was reminding someone that he paid them to find a guilty verdict, but I'm not, that's a speculation. We're about to find out if he did. I have a sneaky suspicion that Brian Albert, perhaps, and I feel it could be really easy to trace because he just sold his house and we could find the financials of that, watch it go to the next house. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that pizza shops back in the day were ideal for the mafia. I actually went to a pizza shop in Springfield. I think it was, I don't know where it was. It wasn't Springfield actually. It's wherever UMass is, my little brother lives there. And he, it was the first shop, pizza shop. It's now like a restaurant and everyone probably knows it if you're familiar with that area. It um is the, It was the first restaurant that the mafia used. And it, it feels very historic. Some shady deals might have gone down in there, and it's amazing food and great service. It was really fun. So, we have the Eight of Cups just jumped. I haven't set an intention, so I'm putting it back in. My intention is to find out what does Brian Albert know? What is he hiding? What do we need to know about Brian Albert? This is allegedly for entertainment purposes only. No facts here. And I just check with the tarot deck. I just called in the quarters and asked for protection. We're working with some super dark forces. So might it. Just say we're not working for the good guys. There was a YouTuber who said that the word on the street is that he has some buddies under his belt, which I think he was also... He was trained in, um, I think, he, well, he's ex-military. I don't know if he was a Marine or not, and I don't, don't quote me on it. He has military experience, hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was on TV for some Boston police. His eyes look evil and intimidating. And it happened to be on his front lawn that this all happened with John O'Keefe. This is the Boston police officer who was found on Brian Albert's front lawn. And Brian Albert is not stable mentally. I have a sneaky suspicion. This is all opinion. Oh, cards are ready. These cards are totally ready. All right, Brian Albert, what do we need to know? Well, these cards, welcome. If you're in the bleachers, these cards do not like to, oh boy. We have the D card right off the rip. Oh no, what if this was the trafficking stuff we just saw yesterday for Auntie Bev? Oh boy. Well, we're going to do this with true crime. We're not doing this like a regular reading. Okay, so the next card that we have is the Ten of Cups, the world. Oh, I have a little thing here that'll tell me. I can see the balcony now. I... Uh, Okay, so I can make sure you guys can see. So, okay, we have the five of wands. Welcome, if you're in the balcony. Oh, he, this one jumped, oh boy. This deck doesn't like to be read in reverse. If you're in the balcony, welcome. Thanks for coming. Oh, man. Can you see all these? Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm going to move all this stuff up. Move these over. Oh, we have plenty of room over here. Okay, Brian Albert. Boy. Oh boy. Okay. 
Okay, okay. This is um, not good. All right, Brian Albert. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to stop it right there. We have three eights, though, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there for a second because... All right, I don't even know where to start. Okay, the card that jumped was the D card, and I don't mean dollar. Hmm. Let's have the Hierophant here. I hope that's the internal, or it's a government investigation that is going on into the investigation. I hope that's what this is. Hopefully, if a YouTuber knows from Kentucky that Brian Albert has dead bodies under his belt, I hope that the U.S. government knows. I'm sure they do. I mean, come on, I'm not giving them enough credit. They run their investigations very, very thoroughly, thoroughly. So then, this in the Idaho case has meant big happy home. So this is the Ten of Cups. We also have the world, and Ethan and John have showed up, showed up as the dead little boy, number four of swords, and he's right here. The world isn't ending. It's done. It's over. It's goodbye. Take your meat suit off. You're moving on. The card that jumped in the very beginning, before I even asked a question, was this Eight of Cups. He's walking away from what no longer serves him. We have the Five of Wands. This is a battle straight up, if you can't tell. We have the Moon. Those are secrets will never come out. We also have Daddy Pentacles. You know that Brian Albert doesn't own the pizza shop himself, I don't think. But Chris Albert does, and he's on the town select board. And he's Daddy Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who's ready to fight, ready to go into battle. He's already have the instructions. He's ready to go. We also got the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. To me, this means a decision. Choose our decision to me. Between a rock and a hard place or the weight of two decisions. He did have a decision to make, and the decision that he made ended up with a dead little boy on his front lawn. Ethan, uh, so this girl is being held against her will. Famous Fortune sees this as black magic. There have been jokes in the parody accounts. I know, I'm sorry, I forgot to put the parody clips next to the clips. I should, I'll try to remember. And um, I also wanted to thank our wonderful, beautiful friend who corrected um, her name. Now, let me just grab it, is had it. Sandra Birchmore was the explorer. It was a police explorer program, aka child take your I, well, I don't know. There's a lot of articles about it. She was an explorer. She had an inappropriate relationship. She didn't do anything wrong. These three police officers had an inappropriate relationship with her. One of them allegedly married was the last person seen leaving her apartment complex she was found three days later by suicide it has since then changed to murder and these three police officers are the same crooked cops that we just saw for john o'keefe in some of those parody accounts there is references to black magic i don't know if it's real or not the amount of darkness that we have, not necessarily on these cards, just tapping into them is like beyond. I feel like the um, temperance in reverse card would explain how this feels. So this could be black magic or held against your will, which is a concern, concerning card because this D card, and I don't mean dollar, I mean the D. 
this is what showed up for the girls in Idaho case for the OnlyFans account. And we did get trafficking yesterday for Judge. I don't even like to call her a judge, Bev. Auntie Bev. Ethan also showed a strength when his world came to an end and he was overpowered. The Empress is married to the Emperor, Jen McCabe. I don't think that Jen McCabe is married to an emperor. I think there's might be some funny business going on with Brian Albert and Jen McCabe. Weird. We also have the Queen of Swords. She is cutthroat. She's a leader. She's like the mastermind behind things, and she's the implement. She implements the plans. Jen McCabe. We also paid people off. We got that yesterday. I just did the lally. It took about 10 seconds. I mean, lally is his own. and He's not an animal. I honestly wonder if he's, meant, if he's mentally capable of being a lawyer. And I know that sounds very judgy. And if you watch the trial, you know what I mean. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to pull some of Ashley's cards. Ashley over at The Reckoning. I give her a shout out every day because when I do True Crime Tarot, they kill it, absolutely kill it. I will put this here. Oh boy. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the chills right now because I'm way overdressed. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what I was expecting, of course. If you don't follow Ashley over at The Reckoning, please do. These are her Whispers of the Unsolved cards, and they kill it. Um, I wonder how many people are going to go down for this, and I think that they should. They have all made horrible. I mean, it's just like when you're young. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, the cards that just jumped before I even asked a question or set the intention was manipulation and gaslighting. This is straight up lally. It was like gaslighting 101. It was worse than gaslighting. At least gaslighting is a little bit of a secret. I mean, they did put an inverted, intentionally put an inverted video up. And we also have top secret. Don't tell me that he did something top secret for the government. I hope that the government has a top secret investigation going on him. I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for in Ashley's cards. They usually just do the right thing. They just tell us. Mental health. I knew it. Brian Albert is not mentally healthy. Dismemberment. Disposing of evidence. Oh, boy. We know that John wasn't dismembered. Oh, I can't see. Disposing of evidence. Higgins disposed of the evidence. They went to school for this. I have too many clothes on. Oh, boy. I'm just going to keep shuffling these because he is dangerous. Very, Brian Albert is a very dangerous man. Hidden Network, Epstein. Okay, so yesterday we did a reading on Auntie Bev to see if she was compromised she was. We also got something. I don't know what card it was, but we got something that said that there were underground tunnels. We know, and if you don't like facts and evidence, then I'm not the right person, um, that there are tunnel systems under Moscow. I have the tunnel system map from 1972 or something. And we got, so tunnels to me means trafficking. It has in the 
Idaho case. We've also got an Epstein in, in the Idaho case. We just got Epstein again with this Canton case. They own a pizza shop, which could be completely harmless. I My first job was at a pizza shop. But based on the information that we've collected in this reading in 15 minutes, I think that there's something a little bit bigger going on here. Bigger than Bev, bigger than Brian Albert. And it kind of reminds me of how Glenn Maxwell is taking the heat for this situation. Disposing of evidence, Higgins straight up admitted. I think he like lied on the stand too. We have a male. Outer space crossroads, uh, military operation. Okay, so I think what's going on in Canton is way bigger than John O'Keefe. I don't know what the government will do with this information. Like, I'm sure they're way ahead of me, but the Epstein saga, it's kind of clear that they have really no intention. They're using, the, I feel like, that black book, that list as bribery. There's only one person in the whole world that has access to it, except somehow I have a copy of it, so I know that's not true. But it didn't they didn't bring any more charges or anything. So I have some concerns about this because I don't know if what we just found it came out yesterday and I just really didn't I was just really hoping that this was gonna be like a corrupt judge and a corrupt something and not human or drugs or children trafficking. I did just see a video though that America is the number one trafficker. And we have the ton underground tunnel system to accommodate it. We also have like gaslighting and manipulation, unhealthy mentally. Yes, I would say just by looking at him, he is not a healthy man. Maybe the money that they're paying these people off isn't going to be as traceable. Okay, if we were going to look for this money, I mean, if it's in, I guess it goes back to the LLCs. It always goes back <coughs> to the LLCs. I don't really want to do a deep dive on it, but if anyone does, I would look at the Alberts and the amount of LLCs connected to their name, I'm guessing is going to be a lot. I'm also guessing that there going to be some land land in there and i think that they're part of a bigger network and i'm just saying that because the cards told me that hidden network with jeffrey epstein i think he was a patsy or a plant of some kind i i try i try to stay as far away from the clintons as possible they have way too many suicided Uh, I guess what we have here is, man, I wish that the Idaho case was this easy to find the head of the snake. I'm a little concerned about this dismemberment card, though, like. It is a military operation. They're military trained. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, I guess we have all the answers that we need. I don't even know where to go from here. Like, how do you, once we bring it to the light, like, the, I'm just gonna live in a bubble with my purple sunglasses and pretend that the Hierophant is just the good guys and they're here to save the day. The knights in shining armor. I don't really want to deep dive on this Canton thing. I bet you if we look at a map though, Canton's like right on, I bet it's a hub of something. Probably the interstate. trying to think if I was a private investigator what would my next steps be I guess what I would do is figure out this money thing and most of its public record because it's houses and LLCs I haven't heard of any GoFundMe's or any kind of little boy blue money laundering thing they own a pizza shop straight out of the movies, the Mafia. All due respect to the Italian Mafia. I have a little Italian myself. Ay, ah, yikes. I guess that's what I would do, is find this L the LLCs, all of the ones connected to the Alberts. And then see where that takes me. Like, once you figure out the money, the house transaction will be easy. If it's coming in through the pizza shop, those are taxes, though. He'd have to file, and that's public. The pizza shop is making a couple million a year, or a million, I don't know how much pizza shop makes. Not all of this is going to be public record. It's like... Right out of the CIA declassified documents. I mean, they talk about it. It's very clear. I wonder if he's part of a big, well, he's part of a bigger network. Like, does he have protection? I thought he was the enforcer. I would say that this is much, much bigger. Okay, if we were Sandra's parents, and you hired a private investigator, what would you do as the private investigator? So we have I've never even looked into any of those cops. But that would actually make a lot of sense if these trafficking rings are using dirty cops. Oh boy. Like with the organ the organization, I think it's very similar to Russia, the way that Eisenhower I think don't quote me on any of this, I'm just doing it from memory. I think it was Eisenhower who described Russia as like an enigma. It's like one of those China dolls inside of a China doll. So you can't really ever get to the end. There's no real, it's like a puzzle inside of a puzzle. And that's what I think we just stumbled upon. And I know that the government's involved. I'm just trying to think of it. If I was private investigator. Sandra Birchmore, thank God that 
But John, I want to thank John too. He took one for the team by exposing all of this. I did see, or maybe I read that he had a sole contract with Karen, and they that their sole contract was to expose this, which he's done a phenomenal job at. If I was a private investigator, I would go back to looking at the the money. So you always follow money. That's like, it goes without saying. This might be as convoluted as I, Idaho. And I, I really don't want to deep dive. I really want that stuff to come out. And justice to be served wherever it is. But Brian Albert, like, I think he reports to someone. I thought he was the big dog. Or maybe he is. I don't I can tell you right now there's a lot of money. There's straight up trafficking. According to the cards. This is all allegedly I just read energy and archetypes. And the only person that we're missing right now is the Emperor. We have his wife and the Hierophant here. And I am just going to go in with those purple sunglasses that I used to have to wear at work. It's like see things. That, there's a book about it I had to read in Corporville. And just hope that the Hierophant's here to be the knight in shining armor of light. Are there a string of missing people in Boston, like sex workers or anything? I should probably look. I can. But I think that's what we just stumbled upon. If there's like unsolved and I'm going to go like this, unsolved, because I think we just stumbled upon an Idaho thing. <laughs> okay. And so if anyone does the research and would like to send it to me, my email address is kdp518 at gmail.com. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole on this one. But if anyone does it or knows where I can find completed research, that would be awesome. Again, I would go to, I would find the house sale. If I end up doing it, I feel like I might end up doing it because now I'm really curious. But I'd find the house sale. I think it's whatever the address was that this accident happened at. Trace the money to the new house and then look for any LLC. They also can put it under different names. It's really annoying. I don't I don't know what we I know what we just stumbled upon. And it is as convoluted as Idaho. The thing that Idaho did that is way outside and I'm not talking I won't go on about Idaho, but is way outside of the norm was making this very, very public. Like the organization, I can call this the organization too, they don't make things public. There was a reason that they wanted that publicity. We already know about the house being turned into low income housing. That happened in 2019. I haven't seen anything about him tooting his own horn about getting that passed, but he will. That's Green I'm talking about. Hi, Mr. Green. I don't even like calling you a Mr. Hey, Green. Scott Green. Porky little fingers. Um, I'd just go to the LLCs, I guess. And it, there is a number of, if there are any unsolved, or yeah, I guess they're called unsolved, missing sex workers, like a string of them in the last 10 years. I'd go there, I guess. And then I would just see where that takes you. I'd go to that pizza shop, too. There's some, I mean, they probably are already running undercovers in there. I'm guessing. Like, these are the feds. They're way ahead of us. But Brian Albert's hands are not clean. And it looks a lot bigger than John O'Keefe. And I mean big, like Epstein big. We did get the Epstein card. And that's not the first time we got that for this Canton case, I don't think. I 
can't wait to watch Auntie Bev crumble. I can't wait till that comes out. I'm sure it will, obviously. Oh, yeah, we just nailed the um, Matthew Perry case, too. I, I need to fix that or do a confirmation. We called that like eight or nine months ago. Uh, I'm glad that they have a federal case on that, too. So with that, I will love you and leave you. If anyone wants to do the research, what I would recommend, or if you already know how to do it, is start with that sale of the house on, I can't, it's like 30-something drive or 33-something drive. Watch that money go from that sale into their next house. Then I would look for, or I'll run the background checks on all of them. Oh, that's what I should do. I could run some background checks on them. And see what LLCs, if they have any LLCs connected to them, and then see where that is. Most of them aren't as obvious as Little Boy Blue or whatever that joke was. But I, I guess if I was a part, if I had a team, I would also have someone getting really cozy down there in Canton in that pizza shop. Stay away from Turtle Boy. He brings way too much attention. They won't talk about it around him, but... Ah, yikes. This is, this is big. This is like an Idaho 4 case, and that has taken a year to figure out. We're still working on it. The organization is an enigma so far. There is no top. There is no bottom. Well, there, we know the bottom. Bottom are the little minions. And dead over 60. That folder is filling right up, too. I just found another. I found two the other day. Mysterious deaths over women over 60. If you have any ideas, let me know. There's nothing in, they don't have anything in common that I can find. But it's really curious. We found like two or three when Kaylee saw one of the women, and then I found a couple more. So I guess uh, we all have a little homework, or if anyone has any ideas or wants to do the research, I can run all those background checks for you. Help save it. There was someone who wanted to join the research team. You're more than welcome. I'd, of course, love it. If you're with the church or you are, your intentions aren't pure, I happen to be psychic and so don't worry, I don't share anything either. Um, I don't know. If anyone has any ideas or thoughts on this, let's do it. And with that, I will love you and leave you and I will see you next time. Bye.